Hi Geraldine, back with you again. In this video I really want to talk to you about this foot which is a W foot and it does come for um, all Janome machines. This is the 9mm one for the 15. I do have a 7mm for my 11. And it's quite an um, unusual foot in that it's got this cone shape here with an opening at the back and slots on the side. It has a screw here which you can undo and move slightly and then the bar here with the W because it's the W foot. Um, so this is good, you can make your own bias bindings. You can make spaghetti straps for a dress or something if you wanted to. Um, but what we're going to do with this foot is, this is the design we're going to be giving you um, this month. So basically it's uh, four squares. So this is one pattern and I've just created it four times. I've then just put the back on, I've stitched in the ditch through the middle and anchored the back. Um, because I will just probably use this as a table topper or something. So I've cut my binding. This is a traditional cut at two and a half. Okay, so I've got my coral colour, seven eighths of an inch fabric threaded through the back of the foot here. And I've just popped my needle down. Now I'm in on a straight stitch on the default position. So the needle's in the center. If yours wasn't where you wanted it, you could move your needle position. You can also use a zigzag doing this. Now I, I know I've cut enough coral so that I've got extra. So what happens is as I sew through, it's folding. Now that first little bit back there is probably not right. You do need to feed a bit through first. And you can see here now how it's folded those edges under and I'm stitching on the top. Now I probably... So Geraldine back again. Here's my binding um, with the nice um, little hit of colour on the edge here. Now, I didn't even change the bobbin to match, so I'm going to do this so it won't matter, you won't see the white thread underneath. Now, as I generally do, I do things different. Normally, you would put this on your quilt and turn it to the back, but if we do that, you're not going to get the pop of colour. So, I'm going to stitch it on the back with my bobbin thread showing on the back. And then when we bring it across to the front, I'm then going to... Okay, so I'm at the machine. I've got my walking foot on because this is quilted. We've got the back and then the layers of the binding. And I want to stitch just one blip to the right of the edge stitching here. So I've got the machine set on a width of eight. I've got the walking foot on with the guide on the side the OD foot and I'm simply just going to sew around. Okay, so I'm back at the table, I've gone all the way around and we're back to here. So this end is where I've undone a few stitches, it's about three quarters of an inch. Okay, so I'm back at the machine, I've fixed up my join, I've turned my binding to the front. So on the corners here, you'll see how when you bring it across, just put your thumb in there 
lovely burst of colour on the binding and you can see here how we can get that lovely mitered corner on both sections when you go around. Now as I said this could be um, this row of stitching I've done on the cream but it could be done on the coral colour. This could have been a zigzag to start with so it's up to you. It's worth playing around with it and finding how you like to do it. So that's it for now. I'll come back and talk to you in another video soon.